everyone, it's Louisa, and in today's video, I'm going to be taste testing and ranking the Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> this video kind of came out of left field, but basically, uh, I saw that a Girl Scout was selling these and I haven't had Girl Scout cookies in years. I did used to be a Girl Scout. I haven't had the cookies in years and so I decided to get a box of each kind because I can. I'm an adult and I used my money <laughs> to buy a box of each kind that was available to me and they had the option to ship it to me and that was incredible. Uh, it said my order would take between five and like 19 days to ship. And I ordered on a Thursday night and I got it either that Monday night or that Tuesday morning in December before Christmas. So that was pretty incredible. But these have been freezing for a little bit, but I just thought that this would be fun to do a taste test and rank them and just see what cookie comes out on top. I have a guess, but maybe that's not accurate. I don't know. So uh, before I get started though, I will say when I ordered, there were eight cookies available. And then I saw another Girl Scout, another Girl Scouts cookie sheet. I saw a cookie on there that was called Toast Yay, which I think is like a French toast cookie, but that was not an option when I ordered my boxes. So I don't know if that's like a regional specialty or whatnot. So this is just what I had available to order. I ordered a box of each kind. Each box was $5. So there you go. And I paid to have it shipped. So there we go. So let's taste test. Let's rank. I'm ready. Let's go. Well, I'm going to start off with the do -si dos I did open the box. I haven't tasted these or I haven't tasted any of these yet, but I did open the box to, you know, save time. These are called do -si dos And I believe when I was a Girl Scout, these have been around for a while. I feel like they were just called like peanut butter sandwich cookies or something like that. And I'm looking at the health information and like, to me, this does not like look like a cookie. Like this looks like it is kind of like a cracker. Or like, you know those cracker sets that come with like peanut butter and cheese and whatnot? Like that's what this looks like. When I think of cookie, I'm like bad for me, but I don't know. I don't know how bad this is for me. I'm looking, uh, how much sugar is in here? Oh, okay. 11 grams of total sugar. So there is sugar in here. Hmm. Okay. The taste test, maybe. I'm trying not to talk with my mouth full because that's gross. Overall, I do like these. Um, again, they just taste like, you know, snack cookies. They don't necessarily taste like bad for you cookies, but there's definitely sugar in this according to the nutrition label. And I'm not a nutritionist, so I'm not gonna break that down um, and then talk about that necessarily. But um, it's good, just maybe not my favorite. We'll see. But, um, Right now, in terms of the ranking, it's the only cookie we've tried. So there you go. Right now you're in first place, do -si do do -si dos Congratulations, you're in first place. Okay, so next we're gonna try Toffee-tastic. These are gluten-free and they are rich buttery cookies with sweet, crunchy toffee bits. We did not have these when I was a Girl Scout. These are new. I haven't heard of them before, so here we go. That was really hard. <laughs> well, what's nice about these is that they are gluten-free, so that's a nice option to have. Compared to the do -si dos I feel like do -si dos are kind of a snack cookie or cracker that there's a lot of different versions of, but the Toffee-tastic actually tastes more like a cookie or what I expect out of a cookie. So we're gonna grab that post-it note and we're gonna put it above the do -si dos so the Toffee-tastic has taken the lead. So next we're gonna do the Samoas. And I believed when I was a Girl Scout that these were called Caramel Delights. And they are crisp cookies with caramel, coconut, and dark chocolatey stripes. And I remember really liking these when I was a Girl Scout. And there are 15 of these and this is how they came packaged. Do, 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 do. Okay. I remember if you froze these, these would be really hard. So 
I'm a little nervous considering how hard maybe the toffee cookie was, but it's okay. It's fine. Oh, that's not that bad. <laughs> In terms of hardness, I thought that that was really gonna hurt. Yeah, I really like the coconut. I really like the taste of them. I liked them when I was a Girl Scout and I still like them now. So um, Samoas are coming in and they're taking the lead. Now we're gonna try one that is in this kind of packaging. All the rest have been in, you know, kind of like boxes, but this is kind of like in a carton with plastic. We are gonna try the Lemon Ups. These are crispy lemon cookies baked with inspiring messages to lift your spirits. We could all use inspiring messages right now, right? Okay, and then when I was a Girl Scout, these were called lemonades. So I have seen these cookies before, but it looks like they have gone through a little rebranding, if you will, so. I am a go-getter, dang straight. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Not really good. I remember this, this is different from the lemonades because the lemonades, I. Can you see kind of like the glaze there of the of the lemon or whatever? But there's there's a nice little glaze there, and the lemonade cookies do not have that. So um, I really like that detail. Mm. Ah, uh, yeah, I really like the changes they've made to the lemon ups, and I, I remember really liking the lemonade cookies when I was a Girl Scout as well. But I really like that, and wow, I like how each cookie I try they take the lead. But um, yep, lemon ups is now in the lead over Samoa's. That's kind of an upset. Um, I didn't think that that would be it, but yeah, that's where we're at. So I like this like, <laughs> this little curving line here, <laughs> sorry. Next we have the Girl Scout S'mores and these are graham cracker, no, graham sandwich cookies with chocolate and marshmallowy filling. I gotta say I'm kind of excited for these. Um because they also have designs on them. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, see, they kind of have like little designs on them as well. I have not seen this cookie before, so I think this is a newer one. So here we go. Okay, that one was interesting. I thought that that one would be sweeter, and I think that that one, I think that these are pretty sweet. Like a normal person would be like, those are pretty sweet, I don't know what you're talking about. But like, because you have like the, the graham cracker and the marsh uh, and like the marshmallow filling and the chocolate like they all kind of come together and it's not just straight up chocolate like they all kind of have something and so it just it just tasted a little bit different than i thought because you know i i don't know i don't know that was interesting i thought that i was gonna get one thing and i didn't quite get it but it's not bad i just it didn't taste like how i thought it would taste i don't know hmm yeah. I'm just a girl tasting cookies. So I am going to put s'mores in between Toffee Tastic and Samoa's because I do think the flavor is more, is better than the, um, ah, I do think the flavor is better than the Toffee Cookie or just there's more flavor than the Toffee Tastic. Um, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's as strong of a cookie as the Samoa's. So for now, the s'mores are in third place. <laughs> so this one is the Tagalongs and they are crispy cookies layered with peanut butter and covered with a chocolatey coating. I do remember liking these when I was a Girl Scout and I think they were just called like chocolate peanut butter patties or something like that or peanut butter patties or something. So this is what it looks like. Mm. Oh, real good. Tagalongs, how I've missed you. Like when I hear of a peanut butter cookie, this is what I expect it to taste like, not this. There you go. But I guess this isn't straight up a peanut butter cookie. This is an oatmeal sandwich cookie with peanut butter filling. So maybe I need to just check my expectations a little bit. Did they take the lead? Do I put them in second or third? Hmm, I am just at a loss kind of. I think I'm gonna put them in second for right now behind Lemon Ups. I'm surprised about it too. Um, I think they're easier to eat than Samoa's. Samoa's can be hard sometimes. I really do like the flavor of them, but they can be hard to eat sometimes. And so Tagalongs, I just felt like that kind of melted in my mouth a little bit more. 
and just was easier to eat and consume. And it's just a nice peanut butter cookie. But the Lemon Ups, man, they really surprised me. But we have two more cookies to go, including everyone's probably favorite. All right, next up are the trifolds and these are traditional shortbread cookies and they have like the Girl Scout emblem or logo on there. And this cookie, I mean, it has like their logo and everything. So they've had these for a long time. Okay. Those are good. They're traditional shortbread cookies. They taste good. I really do like shortbread. I'm actually kind of amazed that these aren't more popular because they literally have the emblem on them. Like, I feel like this is supposed to be the Girl Scout official cookie out of the Girl Scout cookie line. And there's one that's more popular, so. Where am I going to rank this? Ah. All right, for now I'm gonna put them above the Lemon Ups, but I might change my mind and I might revise that. So. We'll see, one more cookie to go and then we might do some rearranging. This is the one that everyone has been waiting for. Thin Mints, by far the most popular Girl Scout cookie, I do not believe. These are crisp chocolatey cookies made with natural oil of peppermint and people love their Thin Mints, love their Thin Mints. So again, in packages of two out of the box. So, There we go. I remember as a kid, I was like, I didn't really like them as much. And then now I think I do like them <laughs> kind of and see what the craze is about. But I remember always, I was like, why, why are these like the most popular cookies? I don't know. Mm. That's why. Mm. Thin Mints, you did it again. I don't know, like they're just, they're really easy to eat. I love the mint, like, Ugh, they're just really good. Wow, I wish I could be more original, but do I want to change any of this? I think I'm good with that order, honestly. I think I'm okay. All right, so in eighth place today, we have do -si dos In seventh place today, we have Toffee-tastic. No, not the top two. In sixth place, we have S'mores. In fifth place, kind of surprise, uh, we have Samoas. In fourth place, we have Tagalongs. In third place, we have Lemon Nups. Kind of surprised they got up that far, but they were really good. I really liked those. Number two, Trifolds, woo! And then coming in at number one, who would have thought, not really an upset, it's gonna be those Thin Mints. So, well, that was fun. And those are some good snacks. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please give it a like. Comment down below, what is your favorite Girl Scout cookie? Have you tried all the different types or do you just always get a certain type? Definitely let me know. If you wanna see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. I upload every Tuesday and Saturday. And if you wanna see even more of me, you can follow me on Instagram at louisa.ruby. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon with a brand new video. Bye. Thank you.